I think I told you, uh, I don't know, when I talked about telepathy, did I? No. All right. So as a kid, people used to come to my seminars, sincere, and they say, what about telepathy? Does that exist? So I said, well, I have never seen examples of it. They said, well, we have. I said, well, call those people in and let's see if they can do that. So <clears throat> we brought a guy over from India named Astoya. He said he never used a telephone. He could always communicates by telepathy. So I said, boy, if you can demonstrate that, I'm ready to give up science. What the hell am I going to do? Because uh, what people think is telepathy is parallel values. If you're brought up with somebody, same type books you read, same school, you can walk down the street, look at a situation, look at the guy and wink, and you get the same reaction if your values are the same. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. People think that's telepathy. And then there are women during World War II that get up at night and say, something happened to my son, I know it. I have no doubt about it. And the next day the War Department would bring a notification that their son was killed in action. Doesn't that prove something? So I wrote to the War Department. I said, do you really get letters like that? They said, we got 15,000 letters a day that something happened to my Johnny and nothing happened. You only hear about those that coincidentally mm. happened. Do you understand what mm. I'm saying? Mm. I tend to lean that way. Now, I also know that the, on top of the brain there's a thing called the meningitis, and it's like a membrane that prevents uh, information. Even if you think about certain things, it doesn't go out of your head. The mem meningitis cover that. Not only that, but all the nerves have a myelin sheath. You know what that is? Insulation jacket over them. So the nerve can't spill over to another one and I say, good morning, fuck you. <laughs> it's not like that. The way the brain is rigged, swearing is in a certain area and this is in another area. And when you think of mother, you think of a wonderful gray-haired woman. He thinks of the woman that beat the shit out of one of you again. So we all have different associations. That's why you can't have telepathy. The way our brain stores information is different. Like, in his head, communism means dictatorship. Fascism, in his head, is dictatorship. A liberal is a troublemaker, in his head. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, our associated system is so different, unless they were identical patterns, we can't influence other people. So, years ago, at seminars, I used to hold seminars, people would come and say, what about the things beyond the physical? You don't always talk about the physical world. What about the spiritual world? What about uh, telepathy and all that sort of thing? So then I said, I didn't doubt that there was telepathy. I said, I've never seen it. So we brought, we chipped in a lot of money, a lot of friends of mine, and we brought a guy over from India who said he has the power of telepathy. I read about him. He was considered the best. His name was Astoya. We brought him over to this country and I said to him, if you can read my mind once, he says, I never use a telephone. I always understand telepathically. I said, if you can demonstrate that once, I will shout it from the highest towers. Why should I want to make a telephone? Why should I be interested in science if people can do that? So I said, can you demonstrate? He says, any time. I said, do you want the sun up or down, full moon? What's the best conditions? He says, no, any time. I said, you mean if I think of something, you can tell me what I'm thinking of? He said, always. I said, what if it's scientific? He says, well, I won't describe it in scientific terms, but I will describe the event. I said, that's good enough for me. So what I pictured was things that the average person doesn't picture. If it's an older person, if you say there's been a death in the family either three weeks or three months ago or, or a year ago, well, sure, there's always a death in the family when you're 70 years old. Or you talk to a young girl, you say, you're, you're thinking in terms of why your sister gets all the dates and you don't. You fish around and there's always certain things that certain people, there's no more than six different things 
that older people think of. The house, the paying rent, getting a job. So he mentions a lot of things, and when you lean forward, that gives him a clue mm -hmm. as to whether he's on the right track or not. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, you're thinking of something related to some member of your family. Yeah. Well, you, you fish around for probability. So what I pictured in my head was a little white mouse. I pictured walking, and it, it goes out in the zoo and eats an elephant. It doesn't get any larger. This is this really telepathy. This is outside of the norm. If there's really telepathy, that right? how can that little mouse eat the elephant and not get any larger? He'd be amazed. He came up with it. I see a deceased wife standing behind you. I never had a deceased wife. But I maybe he missed this time. So I then pictured something else. You know what I mean? I pictured things like a, a wood saw, a carpenter saw. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. yeah. The carpenter saw had two legs and it walks into the forest. And a tree looks at the saw and the tree cuts the saw in half. That's to make sure if there's telepathy, really, you know, not coincidental. Of course, he didn't get any of the things I thought about. And I said, how come? I said, is it, is it because I'm negative? I want to know whether there's really telepathy. Well, he was so p poor at what he did, I could see that he was a fraud.